Uh, welcome to my Chine. Evergreen Health, your daily path to stronger living. Nine early signs of stroke that can surface weeks in advance. Every 40 seconds, someone in the United States experiences a stroke. What most people never hear is that the brain often sends out warnings well before the event, sometimes for weeks. Research shows that up to 43% of stroke patients report clear advanced signals in the days and weeks leading up to their stroke cues that were frequently mistaken for ordinary minor health issues. If you are new here, welcome to a health journey designed to equip you with knowledge that can genuinely save lives. Tap like and subscribe so you do not miss our latest evidence-based guidance. Tell us where you are watching from by sharing your country in the comments. We love hearing from our global community. Today we will walk through nine critical early indicators that can appear weeks before a stroke. These are not vague complaints. They are documented signs that blood flow to the brain is being compromised. By the end, you will know how to recognize when your body is asking for help, giving you a chance to act before a life-altering emergency occurs. This video is for informational purposes only and is not medical advice. All right, let's begin the list of stroke warnings that may show up weeks ahead. Starting with number one, transient ischemic attack mini stroke. Picture this, your face suddenly droops, an arm goes weak, or your words come out slurred, then everything returns to normal within minutes or hours. Because the symptoms fade, it is easy to assume you are safe. You are not. These brief events called transient ischemic attacks, or TIAs, function as the brain's dress rehearsal for a full stroke. Research from the American Heart Association reports that roughly 43% of people who later suffer an ischemic stroke experienced a TIA in the week beforehand. A TIA occurs when blood flow to a portion of the brain is temporarily blocked. Stroke-like symptoms appear then resolve once circulation is restored. The danger lies in what a TIA predicts. It is not an isolated glitch. It is one of the strongest early indicators that a major stroke may be imminent. Do not ignore transient symptoms such as sudden weakness or numbness, trouble speaking, or vision changes even if they disappear quickly. Treat them as a medical emergency. Your brain is warning you, and the opportunity to prevent a life-altering event may be closing fast. Next sign. 2. Weakness or numbness on one side. Picture reaching for your morning coffee and sensing that one arm is weak or uncoordinated, or waking to a strange numbness on one side of your face. Unilateral weakness or numbness affecting only one side of the body is among the most important early warnings that a stroke could be approaching. Research shows that hemiparesis weakness on one side can surface as a prodromal sign in the weeks before a stroke. The motor and sensory regions of the brain may be receiving inadequate blood flow, so their function drops before a complete shutdown occurs during an actual stroke event. Early symptoms are often subtle. You may notice a softer grip in one hand, a leg that feels heavier when you climb stairs, or intermittent tingling known as paresthesia in the face arm or leg on a single side. Because these sensations can come and go, many people blame an awkward sleeping position or a minor strain they cannot remember. The unilateral pattern is the red flag. When weakness or numbness repeatedly involves the same side, it points to a specific brain territory that is not getting enough circulation. The motor cortex and the sensory cortex are especially vulnerable to vascular changes, so they are often the first to signal trouble. Progression makes this sign even more urgent. Symptoms that begin mildly and then worsen over days or weeks suggest that blood flow problems are intensifying. This trend can precede a full stroke, so do not wait for symptoms to disappear. Seek medical evaluation immediately. Next sign. Three, speech difficulties. Communication depends on precise coordination across multiple brain regions, so sudden slurring garbled words or speech that is hard to follow is a clear neurological warning. Because language processing draws on a broad network, speech changes are powerful early clues that something is disrupting brain function. Peer-reviewed studies identify speech disorders, including dysarthria and aphasia, as prodromal symptoms that can emerge days or weeks before a stroke. The changes may be subtle at first. 
Words may slip out slurred even when you are not tired. Family members may notice that you speak more slowly. You may struggle to retrieve common words in conversation or lose your train of thought mid-sentence. Some people have trouble understanding what others are saying, as if the language sounds unfamiliar despite normal hearing. These symptoms reflect reduced or unstable blood flow in language areas most often in the left hemisphere, Broca's area, which supports speech production, and Wernicke's area, which supports comprehension, are especially vulnerable when perfusion drops, leading to intermittent malfunction before a full stroke occurs. Speech problems carry particular weight because they so often indicate a primary brain issue. If you detect new slurring word, finding difficulty slowed speech, or problems understanding others, especially if these issues come and go, Treat them as urgent signals and seek immediate medical evaluation. Next sign, four, visual disturbances. Your eyes offer a clear view into your brain's health. Sudden shifts in sight, whether blurring double images or loss of part of the visual field, can be early clues that stroke risk is rising. Visual networks depend on steady ample blood flow to work properly, which makes them sensitive early detectors of vascular trouble. Peer-reviewed reports document that vision changes often emerge as prodromal signs in the days or weeks before a stroke. These disturbances show up in different ways. Text may blur while you read. Depth and distance can be harder to judge when you drive or navigate stairs. Double vision may appear, then fade, then return without warning. Some people notice flashes of light or new blind spots that were not present before. Because these problems can fluctuate, many people dismiss them as fatigue, eye strain, or the need for new glasses. That variability is exactly what makes them dangerous to overlook. When the brain's visual pathways are underperfused, function becomes inconsistent, producing symptoms that wax and wane before a major event. The occipital lobe, which handles visual processing, is supplied by arteries that can be compromised as stroke risk builds. Transient reductions in flow to this region, or to the retina and optic nerve, can generate the patterns described above and serve as critical early warnings that circulation is unstable. Treat persistent or recurring vision changes as urgent, especially if headaches, dizziness, imbalance, or other neurological symptoms accompany them. Seek prompt medical evaluation. Those visual shifts may be your brain's way of asking you to act while there is still time to prevent a life-altering emergency. Next sign five, sudden sensorineural hearing loss. The link between abrupt hearing loss and stroke risk is stronger than most people realize. Sudden sensorineural hearing loss, often abbreviated SSNHL, can serve as an early warning that blood flow to critical structures in the inner ear and brain is becoming unstable. This is especially true when the episode occurs alongside vertigo or marked dizziness, or in people who already carry cardiovascular risks, such as hypertension, diabetes, or known arterial narrowing. Unlike the gradual decline that comes with aging or noise exposure, SSNHL usually strikes one ear and develops quickly. Many notice it upon waking, or it evolves over several hours to a few days. Studies indexed in PubMed Central report that this pattern can appear weeks before an ischemic stroke functioning as a prodromal signal rather than an isolated ear problem. The anatomy explains the warning. The inner ear and the brain regions that handle hearing and balance draw blood from the posterior circulation. When those arteries begin to falter, the delicate cochlear and vestibular tissues often show distress first. Research shows that the combination of sudden hearing loss with vertigo gait imbalance or other neurological complaints raises the likelihood of a future stroke event, particularly in the vertebrobasilar system that supplies the brainstem and cerebellum. Specific features heighten concern. Sudden onset unilateral involvement. Severe loss, recurrence, and any association with arterial stenosis point more strongly toward a vascular cause. While hearing loss has many potential explanations, this clinical pattern deserves urgent attention. If you develop rapid hearing loss, especially together with dizziness, balance problems, facial droop, numbness, or slurred speech, 
seek immediate medical evaluation. Early recognition of SSNHL in the right context can prompt timely vascular assessment and reduce the chance of a life-altering stroke. Next sign. Six, dizziness or balance problems. Brief spells of spinning, tilting, or feeling unsteady can be easy to shrug off. When those sensations recur or linger without a clear reason, they may be advance warnings that the brain's blood supply is under strain. Research has identified dizziness and disequilibrium as prodromal signs that can surface days to weeks before a stroke signaling vascular instability in regions that control balance and spatial orientation. The cerebellum brainstem and cortical vestibular networks are highly sensitive to changes in perfusion. When blood flow drops, you may notice vertigo, a drifting gait veering to one side, or an inability to steady yourself when turnings or rising from a chair. These episodes often get blamed on inner ear issues, medication side effects, dehydration, or just getting older, which delays recognition of a developing vascular problem. Context is critical. Persistent or recurrent dizziness that lacks an obvious trigger, worsens with head movement, or is paired with other neurological changes deserves urgent attention. Red flags include new headache blurred or double vision slurred, speech facial, asymmetry, limb, weakness, numbness on one side, or sudden trouble coordinating the hands and feet. Studies show these balance disturbances can precede stroke by hours to weeks, creating a narrow but vital window for evaluation and prevention. If you experience ongoing vertigo or unexplained balance problems, especially alongside visual changes, speech difficult weakness or numbness, seek immediate medical care. Early assessment of blood pressure, heart rhythm, and cerebrovascular status can reduce the risk of a major event. Next sign, seven sentinel headache. Imagine waking to a headache that does not behave like anything you have felt before. It is not a routine tension ache or a familiar migraine pattern. It is sharper, more intense, oddly different in quality, and it ignores your usual remedies. Clinicians refer to this warning pattern as a sentinel headache. Evidence underscores why it matters. In a study reported in the Journal of Headache and Pain that followed 550 adults, approximately 14, 7% of stroke patients experienced a distinctive, unusual headache within the week preceding their stroke. Unlike migraines that arrive in recognizable cycles, sentinel headaches tend to begin, abruptly feel a typical, persist rather than ebb, and may build in intensity as the event approaches. This presentation signals changing cerebral blood flow and marks the brain's early distress call. If a severe new and characteristically different headache appears and lingers for days, take it seriously. Do not dismiss it as stress or fatigue. Seek prompt medical evaluation, especially if any additional neurological symptoms emerge. Your brain may be asking for help before a life-altering emergency. Next sign. Eight. Fatigue or exhaustion. Modern life often treats tiredness as normal, yet persistent unexplained exhaustion can be an early neurological warning. Medical literature identifies sustained fatigue that begins weeks before a stroke as a meaningful prodromal signal. This is not the usual sleepiness after a busy day. It is a deep pervasive weariness that does not improve with rest and lacks an obvious cause. The brain uses roughly 20% of the body's total energy, which makes it highly sensitive to shifts in blood flow and oxygen delivery. When vascular supply begins to falter in the lead-up to a stroke, the brain may enter a conservation mode. The result is heavy, unrelenting fatigue that feels out of proportion to your activity level or sleep pattern. People often describe associated cognitive changes. Concentration falters, motivation drops, and ordinary tasks require noticeably more effort. Some report mild confusion, occasional word-finding difficulty, or a persistent mental fog that was not present before. This pattern differs from routine tiredness. It tends to persist rather than fluctuate. It does not respond meaningfully to extra sleep, and it may gradually worsen over days or weeks. Stroke survivors frequently recall feeling unusually drained 
during the weeks preceding their event and misattributing it to stress aging or seasonal change. The likely driver is a brain working harder to maintain normal function despite compromised circulation, slowly exhausting its reserves. If you notice ongoing exhaustion without a clear explanation, especially when accompanied by other symptoms. On this list, seek prompt medical evaluation. Your body may be signaling the need for immediate attention. Finally, sign nine, atypical neurological signs. Not all early warnings look like classic stroke symptoms. A final group of signals can seem unrelated at first glance, yet together they often point to rising stroke risk. These atypical signs include sudden confusion, trouble understanding speech, brief seizures, unexplained bouts of nausea or vomiting, fainting or near fainting, and short episodes of altered awareness. Peer-reviewed research, including studies cited by the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, shows that such diverse symptoms can appear hours to weeks before a stroke. Their subtle shifting nature makes them easy to dismiss as stress fatigue, food issues, or aging. The pattern matters. When unusual symptoms cluster or repeat, especially in people with cardiovascular risks, they may reflect early vascular compromise in the brain. What is happening under the surface is straightforward. Confusion and difficulty comprehending language arise when regions that manage executive function in speech begin receiving less blood. Seizures can occur when disrupted circulation interferes with normal electrical activity. Nausea and vomiting may result from impaired blood flow to centers that regulate these functions. Fainting or near syncope suggests short-lived drops in cerebral perfusion. Paresthesias. Those pins and needles sensations can emerge as sensory pathways experience intermittent blood supply problems. The takeaway is the pattern, not any single complaint. One odd symptom can have many explanations, but a cluster of atypical neurological changes unfolding over days or weeks warrants urgent evaluation. Clinicians are trained to connect these dots in order testing that clarifies vascular status and stroke risk. Your window for action. The nine early warnings discussed in this series demonstrate how the body signals danger before catastrophe, from sentinel-type headaches that feel unlike anything you have had before, to subtle speech changes, unrelenting fatigue, and sudden hearing loss, each one is an opportunity to intervene. Stroke prevention is often possible when problems are recognized early. Nearly half of patients report warning signs in the days or weeks preceding their event which means thousands of strokes could be avoided if people noticed these cues and sought timely care. Do not wait. Share this knowledge with family and friends. If you notice any of these signs in yourself or someone else, seek medical help immediately. Remember, fast face, drooping arm, weakness speech, difficulty time to call emergency services. Now, you also know the quieter warnings that can surface weeks beforehand giving you even more chances to act. Your brain is always working to protect you and will send signals when something is wrong. You now understand how to recognize those messages. If this video expanded your awareness of stroke warnings type, helpful in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe for more life-saving health content. Thank you for learning these critical early signs. Stay healthy, stay vigilant, and remember that with stroke every moment and every warning sign matters. Thank you for watching Evergreen Health. Subscribe to stay healthy every day.